Okay, the first trading strategy that I have for you is what I call the break of structure. So this strategy is for traders, right, who find that they are usually, you know, entering their trades too early, right, and then getting stopped out. So for example, let's say market is in a range, okay, then it pretty much breaks below support. And as you know, right, when the price breaks below support, it could become resistance, right? Previous support, 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 and then become resistance. So whenever the price, you know, starts to hit lower, many traders will go short only to see the price goes up higher before it continues this downtrend. So if you're one of these traders who always get caught in this type of move, right, then the good news is this strategy will help you with it, right? will help you avoid entering your trades too early. So let me give you the exact trading rules of this strategy and then we have a look at some chart examples so you kind of understand how it all makes sense. First thing is number one, right? On the daily time frame, right? You're looking for the price to approach resistance, okay? So if you are looking for uh, long setups, then the opposite is true. You're, you're looking for the price to approach support, right? So in this case, I'm going with a short uh, side of the trade. Next, on the four hour time frame, you're looking, you'll see that the price, right? Forms a series of higher highs and higher lows, okay? So if you look at on the daily time frame, the price approach resistance, on the four hour time frame, you will see that the price forms a series of higher highs and higher lows. That's just kind of like the mechanics, right? Of uh, price action. Number three, what you're looking for is for the price to form a lower high and lower low, telling you that the selling pressure is stepping in. Okay, and when that happens, you have what we call a break of structure. I will highlight to you that portion later on so you can see it clearly. Number four, you can go short when the price breaks below the swing low, and then your stop loss can just go a distance above the swing high and target profit just before the extreme swing low. Let me give you an illustration so you understand how this works. So what we are looking for is, in essence, right, let's say again, on the daily time frame, I put here daily, market is in a range, and it breaks below support. So what you're looking for is on a daily time frame for you to approach this area of resistance, previous support, which could become resistance, okay? Then on the four hour time frame, this is what you're looking for. So let's say four hour time frame is, let's say it's here, okay? You will see that the price is forming a series of higher highs and higher lows, otherwise known as an uptrend, all right? This is what you'll see on the four hour time frame. So what you're looking for is for the price to form a lower high and lower low. So pulls back, goes up, and now at this point, right, this critical point, right, is where we'll place a sell stop order because if the price can break below this low, now we have a lower high and a lower low. Our stop loss can just go a distance above these highs and our target can be just uh, before this extreme swing low over here is our target. So I'm going to walk you through some chart examples, right, so you can see how this uh, trading strategy works. Okay, so over here, you can see that this is the chart of gold and here is, you know, what I was talking about. You can see that the price, right, has broke below this area of support, right, which could now become resistance, right, highlight on this uh, this chart over here. So notice here, the price has break below support, right, support, which could now become resistance. And the mistake that many traders make is that whenever they see, you know, the market showing signs of, you know, reversal or, you know, uh, having a lower close, they quickly go short, like, for example, this candle over here, they quickly go short on this particular candle over here, think the market is about to reverse lower. And then what ha happened is that the price, you know, usually would do a, another move up higher before it reverse, right? So how do you not get caught in such a move? So this is where you can actually use the four hour time frame, the lower time frame to help you better time your entry. So in this case, let's go down to the four hour time frame and see what's going on. So on the four hour time frame, you can see that again, this red box is the area of resistance that I've highlighted previously. And over here, notice, right, that the price structure in this case, the market is still in an uptrend in this time frame. Series of higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, and higher lows, higher lows, and higher lows. So this tells you that, hey, you know, the buyers are clearly still in control in this time frame. So let's not, you know, short the market just yet. Let's not jump the gun, just like how you don't marry the, the girl, right, for the first time you guys go on a date. Instead, you will marry her probably after a, a number of dates, you know, spending a lot of time together until she, so she show signs of interest, you are convinced, then you guys get married. So same thing for trading, right? You want to see signs of reversal first, right, before you look to short this market and know to get on, on board, right, this, uh, existing trend on the daily time frame. So let's see. So in this case, the market you can see at this point, right, it's still uh, in an uptrend. Price still forming a series of higher highs and higher lows. So be patient. So I'm just going to run through, see what happens to this uh, market. So over here, you can see now that the market, right, is still have the uptrend still intact. Over here, now, this is interesting. Now we have something interesting. The price has now broke below this swing low. Okay. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so at this point now, okay, we can see that right now the price has now formed a lower high. Okay, this is now a lower high. So from the looks of this chart, right, you can see that we have a lower high. And if the price breaks below this lows, right, we now have a lower high and a lower low. So this 
serves right as an entry trigger to go short and plus right traders you know if you use trend line and stuff like that if you draw a trend line the trend line is also clearly you know uh, broken at this point in time so you have multiple factors coming in telling us that hey you no know, the selling pressure is stepping in and we can look to you know uh, go short this market if the price breaks below this swing low so let's just do right that so let me just say let's say i'm just going to use this line over here okay i'll just put this, this one over here this black line if the price breaks below this low okay we will go short so in this case, you can see over here, right, we would have gotten shot, right, on this particular trade over here. So where do we set our stop loss? So let's say we use this particular uh, tool over here. Okay, short position is over here. Our stop loss can just go a distance above this highs. Don't have to set it very high. So let's say our stop loss is just a distance above this highs so that we don't get stopped up prematurely. Okay, so this is our entry point, right? And as for target, you can remember, right, we can set it just before this recent swing low over here. I don't want to set it at the extreme low because the price might not get to there and then reverse from it. So I think somewhere about here would be a reasonable target, somewhere just around here, right? So I'm just going to shift this target. To around that level somewhere about here okay so in this case right this trade uh it's a potential you know risking a dollar to make you know three dollar and 62 cents as it shows over here so in this case uh clearly this is a cherry pick chart you can see that the market uh pretty much you know did uh reach our target eventually over here right as you can see the price did reach our target over here now one thing to point out is that you know i want to talk about trade management because you know not all trades you know the moment you go short the market will move in your favor there are oftentimes it's going to you know mess with your feelings right you know move a bit in your favor move a lot against you then move in your favor again so how do you kind of like manage your trades right so one technique to share with you is is this right so let me just uh, i'll just get rid of this first okay so one technique to share with you is that if you can actually look to trail your stop loss right based on the price structure so for example at this point okay when the price are uh, breaks let me just zoom in a little bit okay zoom in a little bit you can see as the price breaks below this lows over here okay you now have a new swing high that you can reference which is this so your stop loss can be just a distance above this swing high somewhere about here so as the price continuously make you know uh new swing high lower you can reference that to set your stop loss so you can see over here as the price hit down lower over here okay at this point we have another swing high over here okay let me just okay you have another swing high over here so this, we can reference this swing high to set our stop loss somewhere about here. Then when the price breaks below this lows, right, and reverse and comes down lower, we have another swing high here. We can set our stop loss somewhere about here. So we progressively, you know, uh, trail our stop loss based on the price structure of the market till it reaches our target or it hits our trailing stop loss. So that's a one technique that you can consider, right, when, you know, uh, trading such a strategy or have such a trade management, right, to kind of like protect your profits, but at the same time, give it some buffer to reach your target. Okay, in this second example, I want to share with you another variation of the break of structure strategy that you can consider, right? So this, I would say, is a little bit more advanced, but still, it offers you a low-risk entry, right, to enter the existing trend. So you can see over here, right now, this market is in a downtrend, and the price has come towards this previous, you know, support, which could become resistance. So I'm just going to highlight this on the chart, okay? So how do you find a low-risk entry to enter this, this, this trade, right? So again, we go down to the four-hour time frame over here and it looks something like this so this time around instead of looking for a break of structure we can actually you know see how the price reacts at this level why, why is this level significant two reasons number one this is the swing high over here number two you know that this swing high right coincides right with the higher time frame uh price structure higher time frame resistance as you've seen earlier that's how we actually draw it on this chart over here so what we're looking for is for the price to go up higher retest and then get rejected and close back below it so it can look something like a you know a shooting star pattern for those of you who are familiar with candlestick patterns telling us that there is price rejection at this high so you can see it over here yes right we are shorting right into this uptrend over here but this uptrend right is only an uptrend on this four hour time frame because as you've seen earlier on the daily time frame where i just you know go back up to the daily time frame you can see that we are actually in the downtrend so we are timing our entry on the four hour time frame to get on board with the trend on the daily time frame does it make sense if it does raise up your hand i can't see it but just raise up your hand okay so let's see what happens next on this uh, four hour time frame so at this point right we are looking for the price to retest these highs and give us a bearish price rejection so in this case the market did rally up higher and you can see over here we have a bearish price rejection the price retest the highs over here rejected and closed lower on the next candle so at this point we can look to go short on next candle open stop loss a distance above the high so let me just pull out that tool right to illustrate this over okay, here we can go short again our stop loss don't have to be at this level right? it's very 
wide, right? So over here, since on this time frame, probably somewhere here is, is reasonable because if the price, okay, if you think about this, if the price were to, let's say, reverse and hit our stop loss over here, probably this up, uptrend is going to continue. We better get out the trade and cut our loss, right? So in this case, right, uh, that's where I'll set my stop loss. What about target? So in this case, right, since you're entering your trade relatively early compared to the break of structure example I, set, I shared with you earlier, you can actually have two targets. The first target could be just before this recent swing high. And the second, second target could be again this one over here, just before this extreme swing high. Okay, so in this case, let's see what happens. So let's say our first target is over here. Okay, potential, you know, for the first target is really, you know, risking a dollar to make a dollar and 73 cents as shown over here. So in this case, all right, let's see the price uh, quickly reaches our target. Man, Rainer, your trading strategy rocks. Well, it's not the best strategy, right? To be honest, this is actually a cherry pick example. Just to illustrate the concept, so go and test it out on your own and see how it works out for you. So anyway, in this case, our uh, first target is met because I cherry picked this chart there, all right? And in this case, uh, again, let's see whether it reaches the second target. And yep, it did, all right? So again, remember, right, for your second target, what you can do is, again, you can trail your stop loss because not always, right, the market will just, in this case, right, just kind of like collapse nicely in your favor, like, you know, up, up, then down, up, down. Not so nicely. Sometimes you can go quite a bit against you then move in your favor sometimes it may not even you know reach your second target it happens okay so what you can do in this case is again right you can trail a stop loss right using the price structure of the market over here you can see a series of you know lower highs lower highs that you can use to trail your stop loss another lower high over here so you can you know for example let's say price is let's say at this point in time right where do you set your trailing stop loss you can just be referencing this swing high maybe a distance above this swing high somewhere about here right and see if it reaches your target or your trailing stop loss first so that's uh that's a technique that you can use alternatively you can also trail using the 50 period moving average if the price closes above it you exit the trade so different ways you can use to manage your trade so moving on right let me share with you the second trading strategy Okay, okay, so this strategy right, is for you if you're the type of trader that, you know, man, I know, Rainer, I need to trade with the trend, the trend is your friend, but I don't know when to enter. Well, if that sounds like you, then this trading strategy right, is for you because we'll share with you right, how you can actually hop on the trend right, with, you know, relatively low risk. So here's what to look for. In this case, uh, this is a long trade example. Number one, you're looking for the price to be in an uptrend and then, you know, retest an area of support. Number two, the price breaks below support, but quickly, you know, closes back above it. This is significant because it tells you that the market right uh, couldn't find selling pressure right below support meaning that no one wants to you know uh short the market below support instead right buyers are stepping in to push the price higher plus you are trading in the direction of the trend so this kind of like put the odds in your favor third thing you can actually go along on the next candle open number four your stop loss is a distance below the lows right and your target profit can be just before the recent swing high so all in all it looks uh something like this okay so let me just show you so market is in an uptrend like this. You do not know where to buy. Tell you what, wait for the price to retest this area of support. Let it break below support and then quickly reverse back above it and close, you know, back above support. When that happens, you can look to enter on the next candle open. Stops a distance below the low. Your target could be just before this recent swing high. Why don't we set above the highs? Well, problem is, you know, sometimes the market might come into this highs and then reverse down lower from it. So if you set it, you know, way above the highs, sometimes the market may not reach and then reverse back, you know, hit your stop loss. You don't want that. So let's be conservative and you'll have your stop loss just before the recent swing. Hi. Right. So let me share with you a few examples, right, to how this trading strategy works. Okay, so as you can see over here, this market is pretty much in a uptrend. Okay, so for those of you who can see this is a trending market, you might be thinking, but Rainer, you know, where do we enter the trade, man? On the pullback, the breakout, you know? So chill, right? So we wait for the price to come towards an area of support. So in this case, you can see this is quite an obvious one, right? Previous, yeah resistance which became support right previous resistance became support and about to retest this area of support okay so what we're looking for is for the price to break below this lows right to see whether is there any selling pressure lurking below it or there's no one you know left to sell and the price you know quickly reverses back up higher so in this case let's see what happens over here bum right you can see over here the price took out this lows over here right and instead of heading down lower they couldn't find any more selling pressure instead what happens is that the market market quickly reverses back up higher telling you that you know hey for now, temporarily, there are buyers stepping in, right? And about to push the price higher. So what you can do is, again, enter on the next candle open. So in this case, the market open here on the next candle open, and you can look to get long. Okay, let me just pull out that, that uh, cool-looking risk-to-reward ratio tool again. So you go long. Let's say next candle open is here. Okay, stop loss again. Don't have to put it over here. Just the distance below this low is fine. Somewhere about here. And the reason why we set our stop loss, right, a distance below the low is because we don't want the market. I'm not sure about you, right? We don't want the market, right, to, you know, let me show you what I mean. To just, you know, reverse down lower, hit our stop loss, 
and then reverse up higher. That is a very painful feeling, right? I think for some of you, it might even more, be more painful, you know, than breaking up with your girlfriend, right? So we don't want it to happen. So we set our stop loss a distance below the low. As for target, again, right, target, this is the swing high that you can see over here. I like to set it usually a distance below the highs, somewhere about here is fine. So in this case, right, uh, what happens is that the market, yep, it went in our favor because again, this is a cherry pick chart, right? But this is to kind of like help me, help you, right, understand the concepts easily. You When you trade this strategy yourself, when you test it, you'll find that you will have losers and hey, hey, no surprise down there, right? so don't be shocked. So I just want to manage your expectations and let you know that you know, the charts that I picked, they are cherry picked for a reason to help you better understand the concepts. But when you test it on a demo account first, I hope, okay, right? Do know that there'll be winners and losers. For now, let's move on to the second example where I share with you uh, an additional uh, technique, right? Using the false break strategy. Okay, this is the chart of uh, Vermilion Energy. I just want to share with you that the strategies and techniques that I share with you right, can also be applied to the stock market. So if you trade the crypto or the stock markets, right, do apply these strategies and see how it works out for you. Right? So don't take my word for it. Right? So you know, make use of the, of the concepts and strategies that I've shared and see how it works out for you. So if you recall, this strategy is pretty straightforward. We are looking for the market to be in an uptrend and then retest an area of value. So you can see market is in an uptrend and retest this area of support. Okay. So in this case, right, let's see uh, what happens next. So the market break below support, right? Many traders will think, oh man, right now this is a breakdown time to short this market, right? But I think you, you know by now that you know, if the market is, you know, in an uptrend and it breaks below the lows, there's a good possibility it could, you know, reverse up higher. So in this candle, you can see that we have a, a green candle over here. But at this point, I wouldn't really be interested to long just yet because we can see that there's a relatively long upper shadow or upper wick as you can see over here this long upper shadow upper wick so i'd rather you know hold my horses first and see how the next day the price uh, behaves so in this case right the next day boom right we have a pretty nice higher close over here so now we have a false break uh, set up so this false break is a little bit different from our previous false break this one requires a two candle right two candle reversal right one candle two candle but still right it's a false break because the price tried to break below this low only to close back up above support so in this case some of you might be thinking but Raina, i don't want to be buying you know at, at, at this at this uh highs over here it's a pretty high so what you can do is one technique i can share with you is that if you are a cheapskate like me i'm always a cheapskate right i don't like to you know buy at high prices you can place a buy limit order right you know a few cents below the previous day close price so let's say you know the previous day the price closed at let's say at twenty dollars you can maybe set your order at nineteen dollars eighty cents right somewhere about here so this gives you a better entry price and would have improved your risk to reward on this trade okay so in this case let's see what happened next day market gap up higher so if the market gap up higher you wouldn't be filled on this trade so what you can do is you can still leave your buy limit order over there so until until you know if it reaches your target then of course you remove that buy limit order so let me share with you how this would would look like okay so this is a Long position, let's say we place our buy limit order at, let's say, $19.70, about there, okay? Okay, and our stop loss again, a distance below this loss, because we don't want to get stopped up prematurely, yeah? And let's say our target again is just before this recent highs, so I just set it somewhere here, uh, let's say at $24, about there, $24.62, okay? Let's see what happens. In this case, market shows signs of reversal, but we haven't got filled on this trade because we have a buy limit order over here. Next candle, we would have gotten filled right on the buy limit order, right? And right now, the market seems to be against us. But remember, we have our stop loss in place. So let the market do what it needs to do. Remember, we are trading in the direction of the trend. And if the market were to hit our stop loss, it has to first, you know, break below this area of uh, support, right? Which is kind of like a barrier, you know, to hold up this higher price. So the market has to work hard, right, to reach your stop loss, okay? So uh, let's see what happens. So in this case, the market, you know, did, you know, reverse down lower. Took out this lows over here. Now you understand why I always set my stop loss, you know, a distance below the lows. Because if, if I set it just below here, I would have gotten stopped up on this candle over here. But since my stop loss is here, I'm still safe for now in this trade, right? Whether it's a winner or loser, right? Let's see. And in this case, the market then slowly, you know, consolidate. And then finally, you know, starts to show signs of reversal, reaching our eventual uh, target that we have at just before this recent swing high. And another thing to add is that, remember I said that I want to share with you an advanced technique. This uh, applies to the stock market, right? It's a very useful technique that I use. So one thing I want you to pay attention to, let me just remove this first, right? Pay attention to this reversal day on the 27th of June. Okay, so I'm just, let me point out to you the exact candle I'm looking at, this one over here. This candle has a higher, higher close on this day. And for those of you who trade stocks, you know that usually if the overall stock market is up for the day, most stocks... Let's say the S&P 500 has a higher close for the day. Most stocks will also be up for the day. And if the S&P 500 is lower for the day, it closed lower for the day, most stocks will be down. So on this day, right, let's see what the S&P 500 is doing. You can see over here on the 27th of June, I'm just going to pull out the S&P 500. 
okay, which is uh, known as the ES, you can see that on the 27th of June, on this candle here, right, zoom in a little bit, this is the candle, this one over here, the S&P 500 had a lower close, whereas earlier you saw Vermilion Energy on that same very day, it has a higher close. So this is what I call power and divergence. That stock, right, Vermilion Energy, on that particular day is showing signs of strength because when the overall market is down, that stock is not only in an uptrend, it also closed higher for the day, right, when the S&P 500 is down for the day. So this is another factor I look at when I trade stocks, right, to really, you know, put the odds in your favor when you're trading stocks. So this is what I call power and divergence, another technique that you can use, right, for those of you who trade stocks out there. So if I go back to the Vermilion Energy on the 27th of June, you see how it was performing, right, how the price action on the day was actually this green candle that you see over here, yep. So let's move on. Okay, now the third strategy that I have for you is what I call the first pullback trading strategy. Right? This is for you traders if you know you're the type of traders that uh, you always buy breakout, right? The problem is, you know, you see the candle, the breakout, you know, big and huge, you buy, the market reverse and you get stopped out. So, so why is that happening, right? Well, probably it's because you're chasing breakout. So this strategy is to help you avoid chasing breakouts and avoid unnecessary losses. So this is what I call the first pullback trading strategy. First and foremost, you're looking for the price to break out of a range. Then, you're looking for it to form a build-up, otherwise known as a consolidation. I'll share with you, you know, what that looks like later on. So once you have a build-up, right, you also want the 20 period moving average to kind of like catch up to the low of the build-up, okay? And then you can go long, right, when the price breaks above the high of the build-up and your stop loss can go a distance below the swing low of the build-up. Then, then, you know, you, you're for target, uh, I usually like to trail my stop loss to ride the trend because this is kind of like the start, all right, of a new uptrend. So all in all, it looks something like this, okay? So first and foremost, let's see. Market is in a range, okay, then range, and then it breaks out. So a mistake many traders make is that they buy the breakout point over here. When you buy the breakout, right, there's no logical place to set your stop loss. And when it makes a pullback or whatsoever, you'll likely get stopped out. So a better way to go about it is what I just shared with you, the first pullback. And it looks like this. Market in the range. It breaks out and then let it pulls back, right? Forming something like a, a bull flag pattern. And if you overlay with the 20 period moving average, you'll see the 20 MA starts to, you know, support the price. Okay, so you're waiting for the low of this uh, build up to touch the... 20 MA over here. So once it has done it, then the price starts going up higher, you can place a buy stop order above this highs. And if it breaks out, you go long and then you trail your stop loss to ride the trend up higher. So let me share with you a couple of examples so you can see how this looks like. Okay, so this is the chart of the dollar against the Indian rupee. So you can see that we had a breakup over here on this candle recently, I mean, at least on this uh, time frame and candle that I'm referring to. Uh, let me, I just zoom out a little bit so you can see where the breakout point is. You can see the breakout point is at its highs and it pretty much, you know, broke out on this candle over here. So at this point, many traders, you know, they will, you know, man, we know this is bullish, it's time to long, you know, buy, right, break out, bullish. But problem is that you can see that there's really no, I mean, there are places that you can set your stop loss, right? Let's say you can reference this low and maybe set it somewhere about here. But as you can see, it's going to be pretty wide stop loss, okay? So is there a better way to go about it? Yep. That's what I call the first pullback uh, strategy, which I shared with you. So in this case, let's see what happens. You can see the market starts to reverse. Right? So at this point, traders who buy the pullback, probably sweating now on me, have already gotten stopped out, especially those who have, you know, a tighter stop loss. Yeah. So let's see what happens. So again, you can see it starts to consolidate over here. Okay. So remember, at this point, right, we also like to use the 20 period moving average to overlay it. Okay. So at this point, you can see the price has already retested the 20 MA. So this tells you that, hey, the market has uh, kind of like, uh, digest the recent breakup move and it has stored enough potential energy, right, to, you know, stage the next uh, wave higher, to break out higher. So at this point, what I'll do is again, right, what you can do is actually place a, a buy stop order above this highs. For traders who prefer for the candle to break and close above the highs, that is fine as well. So in this case, let me just draw this line. In fact, let me just use that, uh, yeah, I'll draw this line over here, right? So this over here will demarcate, it, let's say, let's put it in uh, green, right, as our kind of like entry point, right? It's a bit light. Just change color to just getting to darker green, okay? So, okay. So, in this case, let's see. Market did eventually, in this case, still consolidating, storing potential energy, right? To see whether it, if it can break above this highs over here. Okay, then, yep, it did, right? So, on this candle, you can see that the market, right, broke above this green line over here, which are buy stop order. So, we would have gotten long. So, in this case, uh, what happened next? That you can see the market continue 
continues up higher. So in this case, right, unlike our earlier two strategies, I don't really have like a fixed target over here because you can see the price at this point is kind of like trading in no man's land. So usually when the market is in no man's land, meaning there's no, when you look left, there's no price structure, there's no resistance nearby, you can actually trail a stop loss to ride the trend up higher. So in this case, you can trail, for example, in this case, there's a 20 period moving average that you can use to trail your stop loss. So if the price breaks below the 20 MA, you exit the trade. So in this case, you can see, uh, Somewhere about here, I think you you would have exited the trade. Right? I think below, I believe this, I believe this particular candle is where the price breaks below the twenty MA, and then you would have exited the trade. So of course, twenty MA is just a, a one technique that you can use. You can use the moving average. You can use the price structure earlier techniques that we discussed about different ways that you can use to ride the trend up higher. Now, moving on, another example. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, smash the thumbs up button. If not then hit subscribe, yeah? So again, another example over here is to share with you this uh, first pullback strategy. As you, can, you can see over here, the price broke above this highs over here. I'll just change this to black. Okay, you can see the price breaks above this high. So at this point, we're looking for a first pullback strategy. So in this case, I want to share with you another variation of this strategy that you can consider, right? And this time around, we're actually taking into account the false break strategy I shared with you earlier. So at this point, you can see over here, price made the... The, a breakout and we're looking for a first pullback so in this case it has a pullback over here and what you can do is actually go down to a lower time frame in this case let's say the four hour time frame and notice right now you have something similar over here now can you can you see where i'm coming from can you guess right what i'm going to say next if you look at this time frame on a four hour time frame market is in an uptrend the daily is also in an uptrend and also the four hour time frame it has come towards this area of support yeah, does it, you know, ring any bell, area of support, uptrend, yeah? So what we are looking for in this case is a potential false break setup. Okay, so this means that we can actually enter, right, the first pullback even earlier, right, than usual. But of course, you know, previously we are looking to enter on the break of the highs. But in this case, it's giving us an opportunity to actually enter at an earlier price, a better price. So this gives us a more favorable risk to reward on the trade. So let's see what happens. So in this case, you can see over here, this candle, we had a false break over here, this candle here. Alright, so at this point, you can actually look enter on the next candle open. So at this point, what I'll do is again, I'll just use that tool, the, this one over here, enter on the next candle open. Stop loss can just go a distance below this low, as you know by now why we do that. Somewhere about here is our stop loss. And our target, our first target can be just before this recent swing high. So in this case, right, and yes, this is a cherry pick chart in case you're wondering, within one, two candles, we would have, you know, reached our target. But at this point, right, I wouldn't want to take everything off the table at these highs. Why is that? Because as you've seen earlier on the daily time frame, we are actually in, we could actually be at the start right, of this new uptrend, right? So you can see this market has been in the range for like damn long time, like, you know, for a year or so. So by taking profits, right, just at these highs, right, you know, to me, what if the market continues up higher, right? Won't I be, you know, leaving a lot on the table? So when I encounter scenarios like this, I like to take a portion of my position off, right, at the first target, which in this case on a four hour time frame, you can see over here this first target, right? And the second half of the position, I like to trail my stop loss, right? To see how far it can run up higher. So in this case, uh, I'm just going to just run through a little bit, right? You can see that there are potential, uh, huge potential, right? For the market to really, you know, run up higher. And imagine if that's the start of a new uptrend, not on the four hour time frame, but the start of a new uptrend on the daily time frame. Can you imagine, right? The immense profit potential over here. Yeah, so I like to usually, you know, trail my stop loss, right? For the second half of the position. Okay, now let's do a quick recap right to what you've just learned today. Number one, we learned about the break of structure trading strategy. This is very useful, right, when you're trying to time the market, right? Uh, you don't want to get too early in your trade. So we can go down to a lower time frame to look for a break of structure to help us time our entry to trade in the direction of the long-term trend. Number two, we talk about the false break trading strategy, which is a very simple strategy. We are trading in the direction of the trend. We're looking for the price to retrace to an area of value and give us a false break setup. And of course, for those of you who trade stocks, you can reference right the S&P 500 as the, the parent, right? And see what it is doing and look for what I call the power and divergence to help us increase the probability of our trades. And finally, we talk about the first pullback trading strategy where the price make, breaks out of the range. It makes a first pullback and give us a trading opportunity to hop on board right at the start of this new trend and if you want to learn more about price action trading strategies and whatnot you can grab a copy of this book called uh, price action trading secrets it's a about 140 page uh, full color trading book right where you'll discover professional price action trading strategies and techniques right to help you become a consistently profitable trader so this book is uh, $19.90 and it ships to almost everywhere right around the world the 1990 includes the price of shipping as well as the cost of the book right so if you're interested to get a copy i'll put the link somewhere below this uh this video right 
grab it and I will talk to you soon.